Hi, this is Brent Arnold, and today I want to show you how to customize the action bar. So if you've uh, been watching my tutorials, you'll see the basic view app that we've created. And right now I'm in Flash Builder 4.5, and I've got the basic view app view menu project imported here. And I'm just looking at the root tag. This is the uh, view navigator application tag, which uh, is where you would add references to override the action bar. So let's take a look at this to remind ourselves of what we've done. So go ahead and click run and uh, we need to do a launch method. Let's do desktop and so I got me a Galaxy tab compliments of uh, Adobe Flash Builder and Flex team because I uh, they had this little thing going on where if we were uh, submitting tutorials and blog posts and anything anyway as part of the release then uh, they'd enter us into a drawing and anyway I got one so thank you very much Adobe so let's go ahead and run this now it's obviously much larger and notice that splash screen was not at the resolution we wanted that's something you can address yourselves because you guys are smart okay notice here we have the this is the action bar that we're talking about so here we have this navigation content. We have a button and a label, and that's what this is right here, the home button. See if I click into a view, and I can click home, and it comes back. This part here in the center is called the title content. So here on the left is the navigation content, title content, and then there's one more area that we can reference, that we can add uh, elements to, and that would be the action content. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and add and modify the uh, action bar, the three sections. So we have navigation content already. And let's go ahead and override, let's override the title content. So go ahead and add this tag. And here, instead of showing a title, why don't we show a search? So for example, say I want to have a text input field and I want to be able to allow a person to click in there and search. So I could say, you know, text input, and let's give this a width of, let's say, 100% so that it will play nice with the other components. So I'm going to add one more. I'm going to add a button. So this button, I'm going to give it a label, and I'm going to say search. Very simple. Okay, so that's the title content. Now, for the action content, action content. Go ahead and do the same thing. And here, let's add another button. So I'm gonna say button, and I'm gonna give this a label, and we're gonna call this add. All right, very nice. Let's run this, let's see how it looks. Okay, cool. Now we have a home button, we have a search, uh, text input field and we have a search button. We also have an add button. Now notice that when we overrode the title content this button does not have the same appearance as these other buttons. And you could certainly stylize that to address that but notice that these are really designed to have buttons within the right and left of the action bar. So when you add a button here just be aware that you'll need to you know, if you want to make it look to fit the style, you can fix that. All right, one more thing I want to show you is uh, how to add icons or uh, work with icons within the app. Now, I've created uh, some simple icons and I'll post them on my website. You can use them however you want. Uh, just don't sell them. Besides, they're not that great. Uh, let's say over here, let's, let's create a folder. Go ahead and Right click the source directory and new and folder. And we're going to call this images. All right, now I have a folder in here. And the reason I put it in the source folder is that um, depending on how I use these images, they'll be packaged with the app or I can embed them in the app. Uh, either way, just keep that in mind. If it's in the source file, then you can package them with the app. It makes it a lot easier. Okay, I'm going to click and drag. You can't see this off the screen, but I'm going to add a few images. So here, 
I have a plus sign image. I also have a magnifying glass image and a home icon image. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, notice how this, uh, they're ended with up. Well, I also have a down state for these. And the reason for that is I like to use up and down states for uh, my icons, you know, for buttons. It just kind of adds a little cleaner UI. So in the icons that I'll share with you, they'll be on the website. It has basically the up icons have a drop shadow and the down icons don't. So it kind of gives that impression like it was pressed. Okay. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So to reference the images within a button, we want to say, instead of a label, let's delete that and let's just do icon. Icon equals, and we're going to do the embed. I want to embed these, so I'm going to say embed source equals, and I'm going to call this the home icon up.png, and then I'll close that and close that and save. Now, uh oh, uh oh, notice what happened, and, and the reason <clears throat> I'm actually glad I said this. Uh, if you have under project, if you say build automatically, whenever you save, it's going to automatically build it and then say, hey, by the way, I didn't see that image. And, and someone's looking at the screen going, come on, Brent, you missed it. It's in, an, it's in a folder, right, relative to the project. And the folder is called images. All right, let's try that save. And there it goes. All better. Everybody's happy. We're good. Now, for the title content, instead of having a button, I want to have an image. So I'm going to delete that. And let's have an image. And for that, I want to say source equals, and we're going to do the same embed. Uh, let's see, images, right? Ha ha ha, we learned our lesson. Magnifying glass up.png. OK, now we're going to close that tag. And there we go. So instead of a button, I want an image. And you can add a click event or a down press, you know, a mouse down event to the image so that uh, you can then treat it as if it were a button. So that's one way to do it. All right, finally, within the action content, we have, we're going to delete the, the label. We're going to reference an icon. And we'll do all the same source equals images and of course plus sign up dot png oh, single quote close double quote save and we're good all right let's take a look see what we got go ahead and click and run there we go check that out Isn't that cool so i got this and i got that and I got this. Now, of course, I didn't add anything yet to that image, but you could certainly do that. You can add a touch, a mouse down event, and on a touch device, it'll, it'll trigger the mouse down. And you can change the, you could replace the icon so that you could replace it with those down icons like I talked about. Uh, you could do the same thing here, so you could add even a second level of depth, uh, however you'd like. But anyway, this is one way to do it. Uh, it just makes a real simple way to customize the action bar. And again, you can add events to the uh, various elements that you're using, the text input, you have a change event, uh, image, button, all sorts of things. All right, I'm not going to build this on the device since uh, it's fairly straightforward. You've already built Android apps, so I might show it sometime, but I'm lazy. Anyway, thanks for watching.